Into the forest we go. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, Bobo High School? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Welcome to another vlog. Okay, I just woke up. Good morning. Let me guess. You guys woke up at 4 a.m.? I've been up since 2. No. I thought. I no? Been... Oh, you guys woke up normal time? Oh, that's good. Forcing yourself. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. He had a nosebleed? Oh, no. Probably because of the change, yeah, in environment. We did too as kids, actually. Um, but then you guys went back to sleep. Yeah, I Oh, good. Good morning, Raf. Did they know How did you sleep? Did you sleep well? Did you sleep well? Guys, we're making pancakes for breakfast. You're, she was willing to do it from scratch, but hey, we bought some. Yeah, Marie can also make some really awesome crepes. Mmm, so I love crepes. Yeah, I have cranberries mm. and blueberries. Mm. Guys, these are the best mm. whole cranberries. Try the cranberries. They're huge. They're like the size of cherries. Look how big they are. I've never seen cranberries that big. I put it in my overnight oats and it tastes so good. So guys, this is my brother, my sister-in-law, Maria, that's Joseph, and son, Raf. I can't wait for those pancakes. I'll try one. Raf asked what this is. Oh, yeah. I have stuff in It's tamarind. It's basically, it tastes like a raisin. You like it? Awesome. And there's a little seed in there. Just spit it out. Guys, my brother making breakfast. Joe, you cook? My signature fried cook. rice. Really? I, yeah. I remember my brother making pasta once, and yeah, it was so delicious. I mean, Joe, it's good that one of us got the cooking genes. I mean, both our parents cook. Black mm. rice is very interesting. Yeah, black rice. rice. Yeah. Oh, it's so... For me, it's better than brown rice. And it's, it's totally healthy. Lots of micronutrients. Cool! My brother's making fried rice, I guess, with eggs. If you saw yesterday's vlog, Maria and Joe's luggage didn't arrive. And it's terrible because this happened to my parents, to my aunts and uncles, three separate flights. But Maria was clever enough to put air tags on Apple air tags on the luggage. And you found? Yeah, they're currently in Taiwan. Oh, they're in Taiwan, which was your stopover. But yesterday when we checked, and you guys were here, they were still in Toronto. In Toronto, Toronto so, in Terminal 1, which means the mix-up happened at the airport in Toronto. It didn't, it didn't go on your plane. Boo, we discovered the mystery. And then another thing I realized was that Something's happening, guys, at the airport in Toronto that's making them less efficient. So it's not the airline's fault, I think. So anyways, put air tags in your luggage. All right, guys, so we are having family gym time. Guys, this is the first time. Uh, yeah. I, I like this. So we're going to the gym. I'm taking them to my gym. And my <laughs> trainer will be training us. Yes, even Rafa's coming. Yay! All right, guys, I'm doing squats here with Coach Paul. Guys. Here at Titan Gym, there's Maria doing back. There's my brother and Raf. Even Raf is working out. So good. All right, gang, let's move out. Let's go to the helicopter. Get out of there. There's a bobby bear. They're trying to kill you. Get out of guys, we're here getting our hair done. Yes, at David's salon. And we have a friend. What's your Hi, name? I'm Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> and because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Uh -huh. All right. Hey, hey, thank you. Sir, thank All right, haircuts done. Awesome, looking great. Uh, we got groceries, and now we're heading back. Come on, guys, let's head back. Guys, we're eating healthy. Steak and salad and mashed potatoes. RJ's here. Hi, RJ. What are you eating? Chicken breast. I love that you guys eat healthy. That's good. Good job, Rafa. Gabriella really trusts you. Good girl, Gabs. Yes. Do you like birds? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And of course, this wouldn't be a complete Philippines trip if they didn't get massages and pedicures. They're completely being pampered now, prior to the big day. So for those of you who are new, my brother, 
and Maria are having a renewal of vows ceremony because they got married at City Hall in Toronto, but they wanted to do a celebration here in the Philippines. So that's going to be happening in Tagaytay in just a few days. So we are pampering the newlyweds. And there's Raf. Hey Raf, you're getting a massage too, right? After mom? Sweet. All right. Raf, they're here. All right. Guys, my family's here, back from Tugegerao, picked up from the airport, and Raf has been eagerly waiting for them to arrive. You miss your cousins? You haven't seen them for a while. All right, let's see. Oh, false alarm. I'm no. sorry, Raf. I thought it was them. All right, but they're on their way, so they'll be here any moment. Oh, guys, it's furniture. Wow. Hello. Oh, what? Oh, Itokish furniture. All right. Oh, this is the furniture for the seniors' room. Oh, good. Okay, so there's still a lot coming from Itokish. By the way, amazing Filipino furniture designer. This here, for example, is Itokish's uh, Gregoria lounge chair. Gregoria, named after his mother. And this here is, I guess, table. yeah, console table. And what else? Small dresser. So they have stuff to like store things in. Oh, cool. Oh, wait. What's this? Ooh, I can't wait to see it, guys. We saw it in the store and we fell in love. Beh, I'm so sorry about your foot. Guys, RJ had an accident. He sprained his ankle on the stairs. He wasn't looking. In the stairs outside going to the backyard from the kitchen. He wasn't looking and he sprained it. He fell. I feel so bad. But maybe my mom was right about the spacing of the stairs. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at how beautiful these Itokish pieces are. Look at the inside design. It's like so Filipino. Bahay Kubo, see? Uh, Kalabao, Filipino farmer. And birds. So cool. So this cupboard closes like so. Oh, what a cool... Oh, and this one's a different design. How nice. This makes really good, good storage space. I love it. Wow, that is so cool. And guys, look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. It's so reminiscent of like chess pieces, I find. A lot of Itokish's pieces like remind me of like chess pieces somehow. Doesn't this remind you of the bishop piece? <laughs> and this like the pawn. <laughs> so beautiful. Awesome. See guys, Filipino furniture designers. It's just wow. Finally back. Did you enjoy? Did you enjoy? Welcome. How was it? How was Tugegero? It's good. It's good. Where's Rafa? Rafa, hi JC. Rafa, he went to get a massage, but he's coming back down. He's been waiting for you guys. How was it? Is it okay? Was it hot out there? <laughs> right. What did you do in Tugegero? Nothing. No, Nothing? What about the horse ride, guys? What did you do in A hotel. Did you see Lolo's house? Oh. You saw Lolo's house? Where he grew up, right? You saw where Lolo and Lola grew up? You saw the ancestral house. Isn't that cool? What did you ride, dude? Kalesa. You rode a Kalesa? Awesome! I was supposed <laughs> to have an Oreos. Too. You want to eat Oreos? No, I see what's happened. Oh, oh no. There. I don't see them anymore. What, the bananas? Yeah. Here, we chopped them down. Wait, let's see. Why did you chop them, them down? Because it was ready to be harvested. Oh, wait, where did the bananas go? Where are the bananas? Oh, no! We have banana thieves. Just kidding. I think they stored them somewhere. Did you eat the pancit? Stay outside. Stay outside? Did you? Yes. Yeah. I ate All right. Jollibee. You ate Jollibee. Okay. There's boiled egg. Oh, boiled egg on the, jo on the pancit. Yes, and, I know. And, yeah. You went swimming? Wow, you guys did a lot. Raf had a massage. How was the massage? It was a 15 minute massage. All right, let's go hang out with your cousins. They're asking for you. Yeah, they think you're sleeping. Let's go. Look who's here. Jacob. Hi, Rafa. Wow, Zelda lost the tooth from the last time you were here. I told you you'd lose it. I knew it. 
<laughs> oh boy, here are the kids. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Testing our furniture, RJ, <laughs> to see how childproof they are. Careful. How was it? How was Togegerao? Okay, it's good to see your old home. Mommy, how was Togegs? Oh, she lost her voice. It must have been really fun. <laughs> how was it? Wow, good. Okay, guys, so the kids are playing hide and seek, but it seems more like tag to me. Guys, I thought you guys were playing hide and seek. Like back in my day, hide and seek involved hiding. This seems more like tag. Did you vlog, Jacob? Did you vlog? Were you able to vlog? 9,000K likes. 9,000K likes? Wow. Oh my gosh, guys, look at how beautiful my snake is. I was just up here, just checking up on things. And gosh, he is so beautiful. This is Valentino, my eight-year-old green tree python. Um, and look at his home, so beautiful and big. Um, but I'm glad he's up here because he, lately he's been spending a lot of time on the ground. There are tree snakes, which means he kind of didn't trust the branch work quite yet. But it looks like he's now loving it up in there, up in the branches, which is awesome. Yay! Love it! Guys, we're trying Filipino fruits. This one's my favorite, mangosteen. Pass it on. Come on, Japes. <laughs> Canadians trying full Asian fruits. Joe, look at how much. Look, see that. See that huge fruit basket. Okay, so it's really what easy. What is this? <laughs> so alien. That's a tangerine. <laughs> Our Joe, we have those. You, you know when you you like stop eating fruits and vegetables and you see like a fruit and you you forget for like a second what it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We are going to try. Okay, this here is called mango steam. So you just bite into it? Okay, no, you have to press it, okay. and then it so like just kind of opens. It. Yeah. Ooh. It looks like that. Oh. Yep. Just now open it. Mm. Yep, that's it. Okay. So it looks like that. It looks like a brain. <laughs> a brain. Yeah. A brain. So it looks like that, guys. This is mango steam, okay. and then you eat the white part. Okay, you eat the white part. Oh, now, one of the, the fat ones have a seed in it. Just like, don't eat the seed, but eat the flesh. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Just like, eat around the seed. Mm -hmm. But the smaller ones, it, you could just eat it. Mm. <laughs> you know, you know what it tastes like? What? This is what you call strong. Uh. <laughs> what does it taste like, Nikki? Jolly Rancher. I think so too. Oh my gosh, yes, it tastes like pomegranate. I never realized that. Mm. Honestly, the one thing is the look. The look makes it like, yeah, it looks really ugly. <laughs> ugly? I like it. It's, I love the color. I like it. Mm, it's like maroon. I think from the outside, like this looks good, but then when you open it and you see like a brain, it's like, no, I don't The see brain. <laughs> All right, so move, we're moving on. This here is called longan. Guys, this is my favorite. Oh, I thought it was. I mean, it's all my favorite. Okay, just grab one. Feel free. Yeah, peel it. Eat the inside and then spit out the seed. Look, there's also something hidden inside. Yeah, that's the seed. It tastes like pear. Interesting. Nikki says it tastes like pear. How about you guys? It's good. Mm. Tastes like shit. Don't you guys find it tastes like lychee? Yeah. yeah, isn't it no, the same? It it's like a mix. No. It's like it's, a grape. It's, different. it's definitely related. Yeah. Mm. I don't know, but it's less sweet than that. Yeah. All right. Oh. Now this is the strangest of them all. This here is called star apple, or in Filipino, caimito. So this, you just what I like to do is I cut it in half, like so. Guys, my dogs are mine. And it looks like that. Don't be alarmed. The white gluish stuff will actually become like a glue consistency. <laughs> so appetizing. <laughs> and you won't eat balut. You'll eat that. Here, grab a spoon and like scoop it. 
Now yeah. eat the flesh and spit out the seed. And yeah, just a warning, the white gluey stuff becomes literally like glue. Okay, so... So yeah, just like kind of like this. What's, what's flesh? Oh, like all of it? Like just a piece or like that. And then... So all of this is edible? Yeah. Go try it. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah, don't eat the seed, but it's like a very down, uh, like a, like a, not as so fruitful mango, like a very dull mango. Mm, what? If that was mango, that's so <laughs> sweet. It's sweet. Is it sweet? It's not very really sweet. Okay, are you guys ready? I feel I feel like I feel like it tastes like a persimmon. I've never had that. Oh you have it? Oh you must. Persimmons? Have do you find it tastes like a persimmon? So could I actually scrape like this? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Is it okay? All right. I think my favorite one. Yeah, what was your favorite? Exactly this one. My winner. Yeah. What's it called again? Mango steam. My favorite too. All right, guys. Of course, you can't come to the Philippines without trying Filipino mangoes. Let me know your impression of true Philippine mangoes. Capture the sound. ASMR. How is it? So it's good. Yay! Joe, Philippine mangoes. Oh! oh. <laughs> You're too slow! Go, Raph. Everything is fast enough. Zelda, you like mangoes? Alright! <laughs> mm. Guys, Raph just tried a mango steen. And, Raph, what do you think? It's good. It's good. All right. All right, guys. So we're shopping now for barongs for my brother's wedding. Wow. And me, I'm getting these this pearl necklace. Now, I have many barongs, but RJ doesn't have, and my dad doesn't have. All right. My dad also got. Which one are you getting, Daddy? Medium. Medium. Okay. So guys, for those of you who are new to the Filipino culture, these are called Barong Tagalogs. It's basically the um, formal cultural garb for Filipinos, for the male. Um, but th they do make like female versions of Barongs too. Um, traditionally, it's made from pineapple, believe it or not, like pineapple thread, I guess. But nowadays, it's just made of like various other textiles. But traditionally, it's made from pineapple. Let's see, Daddy. Oh, wow. It looks good. Loose? Okay, that's too loose, yeah. Maybe the other one. I just ate. I just ate. I just ate. So I'm full. Daddy, what's the joke of the day? Oh, the joke of the day. What is the squirrel? Favorite opera. What's the squirrel's favorite opera? Yeah. What? Nutcracker. <laughs> the Nutcracker. <laughs> Guys, we're home now. My dad brought slippers. Awesome. Nice slippers. The whole crew also came from Manila. How was Mall of Asia, Dari? It was good. Is it a big mall, guys? There's so many stores, like, I'm like, mm, I want to check that out, check that out. Awesome. We never got there. Oh, there are yeah, way too many. Like, like, oh, you can't. Stores. Yeah, yeah. We just stayed in, like, this one area, just looking at all the stores. Yeah, Mall of Asia is massive, guys. Oh, and their luggage arrived. Your luggage arrived. Are you happy? Yes. Thank goodness. We got your gifts. My gifts? Hey, but we're happy it finally arrived. It got here okay. Good morning, Mabu High Squad. How you doing? Did you sleep well? Ooh, I did. Ooh. Great morning today. I hear them downstairs. Let's go. Hi, good morning. Did you sleep well? <laughs> good. I'm just here standing, admiring this light. <laughs> I love the light in the mornings here, guys. It really frames this chandelier from Kenneth Coburn Poy really well. All right, I hear kids laughing. Mmm, I smell eggs. 
Good morning. I, Daddy, that was my line. <laughs> I, Daddy, did you sleep well? Yes. <laughs> Good. Good morning, Ate LC. Guys, this is Ate LC, our house manager. And look, mmm, so this is what I smell. Eggs, garlic rice, well, this is like fried rice actually, and longanisa, Filipino sausages. What is this? Star Realms? Sci-fi deck building game? Oh. Jude, what are you watching? I hear a familiar voice. <gasps> it's the vlog. <laughs> You're a star now, Jude. So many people know you. Are you ready to be a YouTuber? All right. We're out here feeding the birds. Do they have teeth? Do they have teeth? No. They just have a beak. Yeah, they put it in their mouth and then they grind <coughs> their beak together. It like one, like two teeth. Kind of like what we have. Yeah, their, their tongues are dry. Yeah, the tongues are kind of dry. The birds are all eating pieces of uh, hazelnut. See, look at that conure, that huge piece of hazelnut. You do? They're healthy for you too. That's good. Oh yeah, she's like, peace. They, the birds really trust Raf. And Jude, did any uh, eat from your hand? I just oh, okay. Do this and they, just grab and they, it. they grab it from your finger. Okay, that's good too. Do I want them to fly my hand? Ah. <laughs> do you guys know the name of this bird? Gabriella. Yeah. Gabriella. There you go. It just almost flies the feet. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna check. Just keep, keep still. There she goes. She's gonna grab it. Awesome! Good job! I was Hey, Jude, what did you just do? This one's gonna get it. Yes! Awesome! Good job! Who is this? I think this one here is Ruby. Her name is Ruby. And then that is Scarlet. And then this here is Rojo. Guys. Guys, guys, guys. A major event is happening my mom's like grab the camera it's time so we're finally planting a herb garden wow my mom has been itching to do this ever since she got here so we had these plant boxes made aren't they beautiful they're like black with white little specks and my mom's planting a herb garden here on the side of the house they get some beautiful morning sun it's like the same sun as my iguanas actually so it's warm it's not full day of sun and uh, it's kind of cute kind of cute here close to the kitchen so we could just come here and snip 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 as needed it looks like mm, guys you should smell it it already smells so this is basil what are you doing oh i'm gonna put it before guys eggshells oh it smells mommy oh wow like legit eggshell okay anyway I guess the eggshells are good for the plants. So this here is basil. What is this? Thyme? It looks like it's mint. Not mint. Guys, what is this? Is this thyme? Or is this mint? No, this is not mint. What is this? This is mint. Coriander. Oh, coriander. Oh, my favorite. Coriander. Is this? Rosemary? No, rosemary is this. This is rosemary. Th is this time? Yeah, I think it's time. Okay, I thought so. And this here is my favorite. Okay, coriander, but there's another name for it. What's it called? Um, guys, it's got several names, and honestly, it's just so good. So the growing medium, the soil was provided by um, our landscaper Ate June, and the bottom is lined with gravel so that the water can just kind of trickle from the bottom holes. And clearly, my mom has done this before at our home garden. Wow, I love it. Yay! Well big. And I can feed some to my birds. This is all no, healthy stuff. Cut, don't just cut any branches. You know. Just the way, leaves. No, there's a way to, 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 to cut harvest. it? Yeah. Okay. If you want to harvest, so it does something. Ooh, love it. So can I put some of um, Billy's poo here? No. Goat manure. But, but I'd rather not. Okay, I won't touch my mom's herb garden. At least it gives her something to do. Near the iguanas, sunbathing and eating. 
Guys, they eat so, so much. Oh my gosh, guys. <clears throat> so good. Let me just say, I wanted to include this in the vlog because I'm a believer. So for those of you who are new, this here is my steam and sauna bath. And I wanna let you know how much I love it, guys. Um, so uh, we got this. It's a brand called Oasis Sauna and it's amazing. Okay, so first of all, for those of you who know uh, about the benefits of this, just bear with me because I wanna explain. First of all, this, using a sauna multiple times a week, according to studies, reduces your illness-related death chances by 40%. That is huge. Um, there are so many health benefits to using a sauna in steam room, so this is something I've wanted to get for years. Um, and I've been doing this now for the past few weeks. My mom did it last night because for her cold. When I had a fever last, I used this and it helped break my fever. There's just so many benefits to it. So what it does is it apparently dilates all of your arteries, which helps you with recovery, helps you with pain. I particularly wanted it to deal with my slip disc my herniated disc. And guys, now I'm 98% healed. Uh, I just love it so much. I try to make it like a, you know, a nice morning ritual. There's a shower in there. This here's the steam side, which I use. There's also a sauna side, dry sauna. But I love the steam because of my voice. Like, this is amazing for singers. Hydrates all your vocal cords. And there's a shower inside. So I, what I do is I take this eucalyptus. I also have lavender. Uh, essential oil. I put it in that little pot there um, so that the steam like the it smells like eucalyptus and it's really really nice um, and then I steam. I do about uh, 20 to 25 minutes of steaming and I, every now and then I turn on the shower for a cold shower so it's basically I do steam cold shower steam cold shower steam and then a third cold shower which is apparently really good for healing of, of the back if you have back pain um, and so I just put my soap and shampoo there, face soap and all that. So on my third cold shower, I just pretty much shower. And guys, it feels so good. I am extremely happy with this. So I wanted you guys to know about it. For those of you in the Philippines, this is the brand we use, Oasis Sauna. And I mean, personally, I think every person should use a, a sauna. I mean, it doesn't even have to be this. It could just be the sauna or steam room in your gym or physical center near you. I just feel like it's got so many benefits and I'm extremely happy with this unit. So guys, if you decide to get an Oasis sauna unit, uh, for those of you in the Philippines, let me know how it is and let them know that we sent you, me and RJ, from the vlogs. I think the company will be really happy. My mom wants to use it again. I think she really likes it. It's also supposedly really good for your skin. Like me, naturally, I have dark circles around my eyes for some reason. I guess it's age-related. But ever since I started using this, like the dark circles disappeared, guys. Really good for your skin and not just your face. Like it evens out the skin tone throughout your entire body. I'm guessing it's this whole dilation of arteries type thing. Like, you know, it gets fluids pumping through you faster somehow. And it's like, you know that after workout glow? That's what it is. It's like an after workout glow. And it's just really, I'm really happy with it, guys. Like, only praises for that machine. But just a disclaimer, guys, I'm not a doctor, so consult your family doctor before getting one. But I think RJ and I are thinking of getting another one of those uh, to put by the pool, an outdoor. They have like different kinds, like outdoor units too, so that, you know, it's weatherproof and all that. I think we might get that for our guests so that this one can be like just for my personal use. All right guys, so now we are heading somewhere special. The whole gang, the entire family is heading over to none other than our old stomping grounds, Dagaytay. We'll be taking two vans. Sadly, won't be taking the Mabuhay bus because it's gonna be undergoing some uh, service and maintenance. So we rented two more vans. Guys, I just like, have to say I? congratulations to my brother for his new commercial. Thank you. Guys, my brother had a new ke uh, ketchup commercial for Heinz. Yeah, Heinz. Yeah, for Heinz. Um, and he, my brother's been doing a lot of like 
hand work. Like he's a full out actor, guys. And I will <laughs> link the commercial in the description and comment section of this vlog. Go watch it, share with your friends. Um, it'll also help my brother as an actor if the video gets viewed lots. Yeah. Congrats, Joel. Thank Very you. proud of you. All right, guys, it is such a trip to be back here. So for those of you who are new to the vlogs, this here is Sonia's garden where RJ and I lived for five months. So back in 2021, the president announced they would be having another mass lockdown uh, countrywide. And me and RJ were like, no, not again. So we decided to move out here um, and we rented a little house uh, here in Tagaytay where we lived, we thought it would only be three months and we thought our house would be done by then. Um, but it turned out to be five months. Then we moved to a rental home for another eight or seven months because um, our home took longer than expected to finish. Um, but every time I come here, guys, I'm so grateful. All of you Mabuhay Squad know. I mean, you guys who followed the vlogs over the past year, this place has a lot of love. <laughs> hey, Jacob! What do you think of the place? It's cool, we're gonna eat, guys. Do you like it? Yes. All right. This is Dari, Jude, JP, Nikki. Nice dress, Nikki. Oh, and Tully. This is Mikey. Yes. Rafa. I'm Rafa? Yeah. I'm not Rafa, that's Rafa. <laughs> so if you're new to Sonia's garden, um, this beautiful place, look at this. It's it's a paradise. It is a an English inspired garden and uh, up in the mountains here in Tagaytay. And it's just so full of beauty. Different species of plants. Okay, this is where we're eating. Ooh, Ooh they've got welcome towels. Hand sanitizer. Yes. Everything is natural. They, okay. This is this entire property is sustainable and eco-friendly. Thank you. Mm, smells like lemon. Um, rose water. What do you think? It's so beautiful. Hand sanitizer. Everything's eco-friendly and natural. This guys, this place inspired me and RJ to like make our farm similar very inspirational yeah and the food is amazing here really long table see that fresh flowers and herbs all eco-friendly products that they create themselves here and have for sale uh rj and i have bought soaps and shampoos from their eco-friendly store and we use it at our mabu high squad farmhouse and we put it in your bathrooms. Ooh, <laughs> Have you yeah. been using the soaps? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's right? Lovely. It's all it's natural. natural. You like those flowers? Yes, they have a they actually smell. <laughs> Good. They have a nice scent. Yeah. In Canada, all these flowers don't really smell, smell as fragrant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think these were literally just like picked this? from their garden. <laughs> Okay guys, the dips for the bread have arrived. Look at this, fresh bread buns. Mm. Oh my gosh, look at that garlic bread. Mm. And then I guess you mix all of this stuff. <coughs> Mushroom soup. Yes. How's the garlic bread? It's so good. You Delicious. used to love garlic bread growing I still up. Do. Remember? Yeah. I still do. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, the mushroom soup. Five Mabuhay stars. Okay guys, here's the famous salad. Look at that. Look at that! It just screams micronutrients. Look at those flower petals, different greens, all grown here. <laughs> Organic. And then you add this to the salad as you like. Different ingredients. So this is for the salad? This is the secret, Sonia's secret dressing. You miss it? I know, me too. So guys, if you want to come check out this place, it's called Sonia's Garden um, in Tagaytay, or Alfonso as they call it. Um, and you could stay here overnight. They have beautiful rooms. Or you could do what RJ and I did, which is stay long term. For those who want to do workations, like where you could stay for like a month, you could stay for you know a couple months. RJ and I stayed here for five months. Um, they offer rates for that. 
And guys, internet here is fast, which is amazing. So if you can work remotely online, this is a paradise, honestly. Imagine this being your office, seriously, or any of the places out there in the garden. It's just wonderful. All right, guys, the pasta has arrived. Oh my gosh, it is so good. It's a cool, like, fork. <laughs> Serving fork. Mmm. Yum. Okay, so for this pasta, it could either be red sauce or white sauce, but I like to mix. I add a little bit of the sun dried tomato sauce and then this delicious cream sauce. Yes, and then I mix it and guys, it tastes so, so good. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. Yes. Okay, a lot of Parmesan cheese. And then grilled chicken breast. Yes. Mm. 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 I've missed this. Five Mabuhay starts. And guys, to top it off, we have tarragon tea with goji berries for digestion and antioxidants. Yay! Cheers! <laughs> Kuya Joel, so good to see you again. <laughs> guys, you, this sir. is Kuya Joel, he's like the man. All you Mabuhay squad who've been watching, you recognize him. Oh, you're gonna tour us around? Yes. All right! Guys, look at this plant. It's weird. It's a strange plant and it's got, look at the spikes. You guys want to see? Look. Oh, cool. Wow. This is what we're using here. Wow. Like for weddings, events, the confetti that we are using. Oh, that's the confetti. Oh, wow. Go, Jacob. Yay. Yay. It smells like butter, like popcorn. Butter popcorn? Yeah. Mm. Guys, like butter popcorn. Oh, oh wow. That's cool, right, Tully? You can bring it also. You want to try? So this one is the seed, so you mm. can plant it also if you want. To. Oh, we could plant it? RJ, let's plant this. Guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plant this in our yard. You want to try? Here, try. Go, Tully. Throw it in the air. Throw it up. Whoa. Yay! <laughs> We have oh, it's tea. this! We just put this one here. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, okay. Wow. Those are picked. That's oh, all the way up there! Wait, how do you pick that? They, they flew in. They just... Oh, they fall. Oh, oh, they... And guys, look at this. Stingless beehive. See? In Southeast Asia, they have bees that don't sting. We have normal bees that do sting. But I want to get a hive of these. You can actually harvest honey. And it's so good for the fruits and plants and flowers. There's another one here, see? Stingless bees. Guys, look at that flower. Oh, it looks like the one I have. Mm, similar, but not. Guys, this here is the proposal garden. Famous proposal garden. Look at this greenhouse, guys. Oh, isn't it amazing? Gorgeous, just gorgeous. So, um, RJ and I also filmed one of our parodies, our Britney Spears parody, uh, here at Sonia's Garden. Because, like, everything is so picturesque. <gasps> Did you just burp, Jacob? Comment est-ce qu'on dit burp en, en français? Roté. 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 Yeah. Oh, J'aime croté, meaning I love to burp. <laughs> I like to burp. Je parle en français un petit peu. Oh. <laughs> the place is so Instagrammable. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is gonna be so cool, guys. Okay, let's let's watch. 
You guys want to try something cool? Yeah. Come, tr yeah, the kids, it could, even adults. Okay, okay. I have this here like 11 pieces of this one. Okay. okay so these are called magic berries. <laughs> and you have to try to eat the magic berry and then try a lemon. Yeah. Okay. Lemon. Try the magic berry okay. first. And then get a lemon after. Okay. And then lemon, is lemon first. Lemon yeah. Oh, lemon first. Oh, lemon first. Wait, okay, lemon, lemon first. Try the cuz lemon is sour. Okay, so JC, okay. lemon. Try the lemon. Now he's trying the berry. Then get the berry. And then try the lemon again. Because okay. lemon, lemon is sour. First. It's sweet now. It's yeah. sweet now, <laughs> yeah. It's cool. The berry causes some kind of like reaction in your mouth that sour things taste sweet. Magic berry. Dari's gonna try it. A bite of the berry. What is this? You can save right? the seed if you want. Magic <laughs> berries. <laughs> it's right, it's it's different, right? So sour, try the right? lemon first. Yeah. Sour, right? Try the lemon first. <laughs> try this and then yeah. try it. Okay, try this magic berry. Spit out, spit out the seed. Mm. Oh my, it's super sweet now. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes like a... This tastes like an orange... No, no like... <laughs> A sour candy. Isn't that weird? It's like the, the sour balls, you know? Yeah, sour <laughs> balls. Um, they're called tear jerkers. Tear jerkers. Yeah. <laughs> so it will, your sweet taste like, it will mm. last like 50 How does it to 20 do minutes. That? 20, How does it do that? 50 to 20 minutes. That's long. That's a long time. Yeah. It tastes so sweet. Mmm. You can flat it also. Man, I thought I knew my taste buds. <laughs> wow, guys. Passion flower. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that flower. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Passion flower? Yeah. Whoa, look at the colors. Okay, Mabuhai squad, now we're going to our old home. RJ, are you excited? This our is old right? cottage. <laughs> and guys, this here is a native tree called Katmon. It's a souring agent for making Filipino sour soup, sinigang. It's as beautiful as I remember. Hello, hi. Good afternoon. This All right. Yeah, guys, this house here, Mabuhay Squad, it's our old cottage. Ah! Sadly, we can't go there because someone is currently staying there. Oh, holy, it's huge now, the lotus. Wow, look at this lotus. Oh, look at that flower, guys. Oh, it's gorgeous. I want this in my pond. Look at that white flower. I know, it's amazing, right, Jacob? It's lotus. Are you vlogging me? Vlogging you? Vlogging me? Yeah. Okay, guys, we're here in one of the cottages. Oh, man, it is so nostalgic being here. Let's go. Let's go upstairs. Let's see. Whoa, this is my favorite bed. This one here. I love the showers, guys. It's like literally rocks and open concept showers. No one will look at you naked through the windows. It's just... You and nature. Man, how I miss this dining area. Remember this, guys? What? Good afternoon, good to see you. Wait, the view, the view. Man, what a paradise this is. And you know what too, Mabuhai Squad? In a strange way, I do feel like Sonia's garden, for us, right? It was at such a transitional time in me and RJ's life. Like, for example, we were moving from our little a, a apartment in Manila and then we were transitioning to moving to the province and so this place was the perfect training grounds to living in the province right this place was also transitionary for me because it I mean when you're out here you kind of can't really do much <laughs> so I worked out every day so this was in the middle of my like my lifestyle change to be healthier and fit I worked out every day walked and ran every morning right and so in a way staying here was kind of like being in a cocoon phase like it was a pupil stage in the metamorphosis of me and RJ's life to our new life living at the Mugu High Squad farmhouse it's just I have so many good good memories here and I'm grateful, so grateful, to the uh, Sonia's garden team for really taking care of us while we were here. And I'm happy my family is here. What a trip. Oh, wow. They're giving us gifts. Oh, and sabah. Oh, my favorite. Thank you. Thank you. And the famous salad of Sonia's garden. Thank you. Thanks so much. What? 
How did the how did the adults get here? Okay, I was worried that the, the grown up the parents wouldn't be able to make it down here. They're here already. Look, guys, we're here. It's a natural spring from water from the mountain. All right, guys, time to swim. Ooh, we got a swing here. What do you think, Raph? Is it cool? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna swim? Mm -hmm. All right. We got fresh coconuts. Yes, with bamboo straws, of course. Tita Tonya, how's the temperature of the water? It's nice, it's cool, but uh, it's... Uh, Not too cold? Not too cold. Oh, it's perfect. It's very, very feel it, feel it, yeah. feel it. Guys, guys, let's touch the water. Is it cold? How does it taste, Tito Joe? Nice, sweet. Yeah. Sweet, all right. I love that swing there. It's so cool. All right. So the water comes out from there, see? And um, the team at Sonia's Garden did a great job at like making it really tourist friendly, visitor friendly by like cementing this all. And then the water goes from here to down there and then it just naturally flows into the forest, like in a, in a small creek. How is it? Mm. It tastes like sugar to me. So good. It's a good. bamboo straw. Yeah. Mm. And it's full of electrolytes, which you guys need. Go, go, go. Fiber. Oh, oh this is kind of cold. Ooh. How is it, mommy? It's cold. It's cold, right? Yes? You're gonna go here on the deep end? It's not that deep. Look at the sun. This sun is perfect. It's cold, right? I told you. <laughs> so guys, kids is this side and then the deeper for adults is this side. But I think you can manage to go here because it's not that deep. There he goes. How does it feel, daddy? Good. <laughs> Getting better. <laughs> what do you mean wet you? Everyone in the water will be wet. Zelda, I really like your cute, are they cat eyes? Cat goggles, and they match your bathing suit. All right, guys. I am, ah, we're in the water, it's cold. It's so cold. Joe, how is it? It is nice and cool and refreshing. Guys, it's so refreshing, but it takes a few moments to get used to the cold. Let's go over here. Once you're in. So. Yeah, once you're in, it feels good. Oh, you guys are in the big, the big people side, the adult side. All right. Oh, sweet. Who brought the floaty? Oh, good. Good idea. Oh my god! Wow, look at the forest. It's just so awesome. Guys, let's go to the other side. Let's go check out the other side. Oh, oh. into the forest we go. Guys, look at this view. Beautiful, right? Here's where the water comes out of the mountain. So cool. I love this so much. Uh -huh. <laughs> Refreshing but cold. Are you going to the waterfall side? Let's see. The water comes right out of the mountain side. This is water from the... Not from the sewers. It comes from the side of the mountain. Like when it rains, the water trickles down into the ground. This is mountain water. This is mountain water. You just have to sit. Oh, it feels good. See? Put your back against. Oh my god, Rafa, come. Come sit with your back against the. Just embrace it. It's so refreshing. Look, look, feel it, feel it. Good. That's nice. This is so comfortable. Isn't it cool? So cool. Nice. Feels cool on the back, right? Oh. <laughs> splashing, splashing. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. Oh. Splash, splash, Tito JP. Isn't this the perfect combo? Coconut and swimming. All right, guys. How is it, Raf? Oh, whoa, whoa. It looks like we have a fish in our presence. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is Joel's family. Hi, what's your name? Penelope. Penelope and wife? Arjun. 
<laughs> Arlene, nice to see you. Yes. And because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, and of course, ending the day here at Amare Tagaytay. Honestly, mmm, the best. And check out the view. The best view, guys. Isn't it nice? Look, full view of the volcano right there in the middle of the lake. Amazing, amazing view. That's the volcano right there. See that brown hill? Oh, yeah, we're gonna go there. We're not gonna go there, it's kind of dangerous. It's a volcano, and sometimes smoke comes out of it. Guys, I really miss this view too. So cool up here because we're up in the mountains. Okay, who wants to make pizza? Raise your hand if you want to make pizza. Okay, let's go. Let's go make pizza, kids. Look at the different ice creams. Mm. Look, look at all the different kinds of ice cream. You want mint? Oh, do you have, they have mint. The one you're looking for. Guys, Jacob was like, I want mint. They actually have mint. And it's mint Oreo, your favorite. You want double? Double cone. Double cone, okay. All right, kids, so now it's time to make the pizza. You make it. No, you guys make it. Oh, you have to wash your hands first. Because it's food. So here at Amare, they offer pizza making, which is such a cool experience in my opinion. Um, and then the pizza goes right into that brick oven and it just tastes so good. Honestly, some of the best pizza in the Philippines. Okay, so you have to put flour on your hands. It's so fun to watch the kids do it. Okay, I think the, big, the biggest kids We'll do the tossing. Whoa. All right. All right. Good job, Zelda. All right. Good job. Yes. Sweet. Give it a try, Jude. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Go Tully, you could do it. Whoa. I think it's just stretching naturally through gravity. Go Liam. I think he's more interested in playing with the flower. <laughs> Guys, cheers. 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 Thank you for coming to the Philippines and welcome. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> yes. Thank you for Enjoy. Wow, good job, kids. That's a unique looking pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, is that cool? You made your own pizza. I made it all by myself. You made it all by yourself? Okay, taste it. Does it taste good? Is it yummy? Big bite. Yes, thumbs up. <laughs> so good. We have a pizza chef. Smash the like button and smash... Smash the like button. Oh, thank you. No, don't smash Tito Mikey. All right, guys, so we're gonna continue eating here, having drinks, uh, ice cream later, here at Amare La Cucina. Guys, it has been an awesome, fun day. Just so good to show my family from Canada, the Philippines. And this is just a part of it. Like, we have more plans. They have plans 
to go to Palawan, they're gonna be heading over to Boracay. There is so much to do in the Philippines, but this trip in particular was special because, I mean, RJ and I used to live here. This is, we feel like this is our old home and I'm glad they're liking it. So, Mabuhay Squad, going to be present, spend time with my family now. Thank you so much. If you've made it to the end of this vlog, really appreciate it. And I love that all of you guys are part of this amazing journey called life with us. Thank you so much. So if you enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. And guys, of course, if you haven't yet, smash that subscribe button, hit 1 million likes. Yeah, smash that subscribe button, hit 1 million likes. Come join our Mabu High Squad by subscribing to the channel and we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Bye Mabu High Squad, I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. 12,000K likes? Okay, kiss the camera.